My name is Siegfried Solomon Hertz. Today my name is Fred Hertz. I changed it to Fred. But I'm also known as Fritz Hertz. I was born on March 4th, 1921 in Kosfeld, Germany. I'm 76 years old. Well, there were very few Jews there. Maximum at that time were about 50 souls. So families, I would say maybe 18 to 20. Not completely official. My ancestors came from Spain in 1492. So we say that we were in Kosfeld for 446 years. Called my book, I called it 446 years and 10 days. The 10 additional days that I spent in the city in 1988. In 1934 or 35, Mr. Oppenheimer was walking on the sidewalk and a car went on the sidewalk and killed him. Uh, he played the violin beautifully. Oh, he was such a good violin player. This was the first Nazi victim in the city of Kursfeld. Now, in the news, we heard about the Kristallnacht, what had happened. Grandmother's birthday was on the 9th of November. So every 9th of November, my parents were in Hanover, where she lived. And this time, on the, on this, in 1938, they weren't there either. And that was the reason that I was not in Germany, because they went to Hanover and I went back to Holland. They had really wrecked everything in the house, in the Kristallnacht. There was not a piece standing anymore. And my father had in his office, he had a big, big portraits of my uh, grandparents. They had cut out the eyes. It looked terrible. Mr. Heinrich Stange, who was an official at the German uh, railroad, he had a pistol permit and I, he came with me and they said, this time we are not going to leave without Mr. Hertz taking him to the concentration camp. So Mr. Stange said, with my life, I'm guarding Mr. Hertz. You can get money. They got money, about 1,500 marks that time, but they did not take my father. He stayed with us for 24 hours in the chair, like you are sitting here in the chair. He stayed with a loaded pistol till they left. I arranged for my parents to leave Germany. I called them up on, the, on August the 26th. I called them up, you have to get out of Germany. Leave everything. You cannot, you just have to flee. I reached Rodos. We stayed the night in Rodos. And I, we checked in at a very famous hotel, Albergo de la Rosa. And uh, I asked the guy at the, uh, at the desk, we have to leave the next morning at six o'clock. They shouldn't forget to wake me up. She said, wait a moment, I don't speak German. She will speak with the gentleman. Out came a man, a guy with such a big swastika on his, <laughs> on his lapel. And he said, oh, don't worry. Our German guests will be treated like kings here. It's very hard. I treasure my children very much and my grandchildren. And I hope that they will have a better life than I ever had. Although I have nothing to complain from the time that I actually reached Israel, Palestine. 